Hi everybody, how's everybody doing today? Here's my um, contribution to the September Art Festival. Hashtag I'm looking for it. Lo hashtag love fall art. That is the hashtag for this month. It will be going, which starting today, the 17th, through the 18th, 19th, and 20th. So, there's your ticket to enter our hashtag. Just use hashtag love fall art. And then, if you like a certain category, after you hashtag love fall art, hashtag mixed media, hashtag whatever category you're looking for, and find millions and millions and millions of people collaborating, millions of people doing their impression of our love fall art, which is the theme is what more? What more would the be the theme be? Fall. That's what the theme is. So my, I'm I'm trying to keep this down to three videos. We'll see if I can do that. So I have a piece of wood here because I no longer have any more canvas. So I figured let's just work on pieces of wood. They're they're upcycled. Basically, they're part pieces that we're gonna get thrown out. So I have gesso here, and the gesso that I'm using today is Liquitex acrylic gesso. There's some writing here from one of my kids from probably when they were little. I don't want to lose that. So I want to do a light gesso, because I still want the wood to come through. And I want to completely cover the wood. And you all know how I feel about wasting, so I'm going to try to get most of this gesso right back into my bottle. Contaminated or not, it's money. It's, it's worth some coin right there. <laughs> so yes, how exciting. I'm so, so, so excited to do this. I'm going to link a few people that uh, I know that have videos for this theme of fall and for the hashtag love fall art. Now these videos will be up forever. Never ever feel rushed as you need to watch them all today. No! No, no, no. They will not disappear. They will stay in our playlist. They will stay uploaded. They'll be there for you. What I suggest you guys do is create a playlist of videos that you would like to see and take your time watching them. You can watch them whenever. Whenever you have time. Come back and watch them all year long. Watch them in 2016. Watch them in 2017. As long as we have them up on our channels, they're going to be there. They will be there. So don't, please don't feel rushed. Take our videos and be inspired by them. That would be would be something that I wish you guys would do. Do you see? I'm being messy. Very messy. You know, I wear my paint in public on my hands. If it's there, it's there. I'm actually very proud to have paint on my hands. It's fun. I wear it like a police officer wears their badge. I really did not need to do the back of this. But you know what? I, I figured if I um, screw it up completely, which I probably will, but you guys know me by now. I like my screw ups. But just in case it's unsalvageable, I will have the back already gessoed and ready for you guys so that I can just flip it around. Don't you guys just love looking at these pieces of wood? 
and see the different uh, visual that's in there. Like I can see the sad eyes right there. It would make a cool owl, but I, I, I think there's enough owls on the internet for right now. <laughs> Let's see. Um, this will be part one. I don't think that I'm going to move on yet. So I'm going to cut it. I'm going to cut it short. I don't know how many videos you're going to get from me today. Maybe three short ones. So today is... Um, September 17th, 2015. The theme is fall and the hashtag is love fall art. Hashtag love fall art all together. Then you can put the space and then find whatever medium you're looking for. Okay? I'll catch you guys later. Bye. And we're back. So now I, what I would like to do is I want to combine both of these here. So the theme is fall and we all express fall in, in a different way. And for me fall colors means mint. I don't ask why. It just does. And walnut. So I want to combine them both, and I was having a hard time deciding what should I do first. Should I do this first, then this? You know what, I think I just made the decision myself right now because I do have to wipe this stuff away. So the directions are to run it with a brush and then wipe away. So let's just give it a go. And I don't want to cover it completely. I do like the white that's in here. And I'm going to leave what's on the brush there. And then I'm going to wipe away. And it is a Deco Arts. Americana gel stain, so it, and it does feel like a gel, and I like that. I like the white coming through. And now let's do the mint. I'm gonna get this. I don't want to waste it. I'm just gonna throw it back here, and I'm gonna clean off my brush. And throw in that mint. And the only reason I'm not doing like a major uh, mixed media background is because I don't want the feather to get too busy. I'm putting pressure. And I'm going to put some white back in. Uh, maybe a white spray. A mister. The Deco Art Media Shimmer Mist. If it doesn't spray, it's my doing. I've been messing with these a lot and not cleaning the nozzle like I'm supposed to. So that's my doing. See, I put it away and I didn't clean the nozzle. I'm going to have to run that through some water. And let's throw in some raw umber
throw in some more of this. Actually, let's try a different one. Um, coastal waters. P pistachio mint. And then let's throw in a little bit more white. A whitewash. But before I do that, I want to put some more of the sweet mint in. Just so that I don't lose it. I wish I had Sea Breeze. I don't have any right now. I, I've already gone through the three bottles that I did have. dry. Didn't I just say I was going to let that dry? Sure didn't. That's fine. And then when we're done, I'm going to do the edges with uh, the raw umber. So, next step is to let this dry. I'll be back as soon as it's dry. Hi guys, let's do this. This is for the CAC and this is for <laughs> the hashtag that we have going on. The theme is fall and the hashtag is... whoa 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 uh, how could I not know? I'm checking real quick. Hashtag love fall art. And the only reason I didn't remember was because it's so dang hot in LA. Okay, so. Okay, so. Let's start. This is a new thing, a new technique for myself that I'm sharing with you guys and I'm not sure if it's going to come out. I did practice twice, but that said, I practice on paper, not on wood. And we're working on wood, and this is what it looks like now, all dry. And I'm going to try to make this the, la the only video. So we're on number three, maybe? We'll see. Let's try this out. Let me get out of what I'm watching so I'm not distracted. All right. Hopefully it works. We'll see. So let's start with a dark color. And I think I want to put alcohol in a little jar. I usually have some around. Let's just use this. Hope it doesn't dry out on me. We'll see. Spray some in there and that's Adirondack alcohol blending solution. I'm just going to keep that in the side and dip my brush into it. Is this the right way to do it? Not probably not, but it's Secret's way. Let's see if we could do this. I need to put something underneath. Okay, so what we're creating is a free form, as always with my work, feather. And what I'm going to do is grab it, go up and down and back up. Just like that. Mm 
that will only be the background. That I want dry. Go into my next color, which would probably be a green, if I could find a green. Okay, blue. We'll do blue. And this time I'm only going to do dots. Dot, dot, dot. And then dipping into the alcohol, and we're going to do the same thing. And the reason I'm only doing dots at a time is because it dries so fast. Let that dry. And the brush I'm using, uh, it's a fan brush. Next color, I'm thinking purple. And I'm going to start in the middle this time. Dip my brush into the alcohol. I'm going to go up here, and I'm, I'm um, free-forming this. I have no clue. Like I said, I tried it on paper, and it worked. And it seems like it's working here also. Dipping in my alcohol, shoving it back and forth a little like this. I'm happy with it already. I might want to add some yellow, but I'm going to let it dry some more. I'm still here, just letting it dry. And the, it's pretty hot today. It's about 93 degrees and it is 11.34. I'm going to go for some, is there any in here? Yellow Dalarani acrylic ink. I'm not even sure if this is permanent. Put some down there. Wishing it back and forth. I'm going to leave that alone because I like that. Put some here. Back and forth. Pulling it up. And this is my impression of fall.
pushing it back and forth and like that. It's kind of like doing eyelashes. You kind of go up and down like that. Now I gotta say I'm loving the way it's looking. It's actually even better than the paper. I can't find the paper I was working on. That's okay. It'll pop up when it wants to. I'm not gonna stress over it. I think we're done. Okay. Clean my brush. I don't want to waste the ink or the alcohol that's on here or in here, so I'm just gonna let it fall back here. my paintbrush in water and I'm going to heat this up a little bit. Put it in front of my fan for a good shot of cold. And look for my pin. And today we'll be using the Uniball Air Fine. If I find the other pin that I want to use, that would be nice also. No big deal. I don't know where it's at right now. Okay, I'm going to have to come back when this cools off and dries, and that should be the end of my video as soon as I come back. So one more video, guys. See you guys later. Bye-bye. Alright, let's get going. Everything's nice and dry, and I was able to find my pencil, and I was able to find quite a few things looking for my pencil. I mean my pins. What am I talking about? Some I don't know if you guys know. I didn't know for quite a while <laughs> till I figured it out. That these pins when they come new, these Signo Uniball Bold 207. There's a little blue thing there. Can you guys see that? I'm gonna move it around just in case you can't see supposed to pop that off. Yeah, you see that? I was like, my pin don't work. My pin did don't work. Anyways, not sure if this pin's gonna do what I want it to do. Like I mentioned, I tried it on uh, paper and it worked obviously, but I'm not sure about the wood. But let's try. That's working. And in order to keep it from smearing, what I'll do is spray it with, oh, one of my, let's see if I can find it. With this stuff, the sealer, the Americana sealer. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. Let's get all that blue stuff off. It's not all the way off. Okay. I 
let's do this. And let's go in here. It's working quite well. I'm enjoying it. Okay, and then we're going to double it up, just like that. Perfect. Then I'll get black ink, black something, something. I don't know if I want to use this completely in there, let's see. I don't know. We'll see if I continue with that. Just do it like that for right now. I don't want to do too much because in reality I, I might smear it. Let's let that dry. But what I want to do is come in here and just go like this. Some little, little, little feathers. In here, here and there. Definitely some here. And here on this other side. And I'll continue to go through. And then what I also want to do is go in to these feathers like this and attach like that. Okay, I think I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put these away so I have some more space. I'm gonna turn it. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it turned. We'll find out. uncomfortable doing it that way. You guys need to be proud of me. I decided to come and do this instead of washing my dishes. Be proud of me. Let me zoom you guys in a little. Just like that. You see, I might smear that. I'm going to do my best to not smear it. messed up on that one, but that's okay. It's a feather.
as soon as I start loosening up and feeling and having the thoughts of, you can do this, let go, let go, let go of your thoughts of, you can't do this or it's looking messy. As soon as I let go and start thinking, I can do this, that's when the magic starts to happen. I'm getting there. Listen up. Loosen up, loosen up. I can do this. This is my personal art. This is just me playing and sharing and showing that we can all do this. There we go, secret. Good job. Oh yeah. See, as soon as I said it and put it out there, now I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the I can. Love it. Enjoy yourself. Never doubt yourself. Just like you would never doubt your child. You always encourage your children. And if you don't have kids, you encourage your animals. You encourage your thoughts. As far as in here, I think I will go ahead and use this up in here. I'll be honest and share with you why I didn't want to use the pin in the middle because I know if I run out, I'm not going to be able to replace this pin for a while. So I'm kind of thinking of being frugal with it. But my thoughts right now, since I freed myself and allowing myself to be free and be positive, I'm thinking to myself, just do it. Use it. Love using your art supplies, right? And if you waste it, it'll come to you. That's a, why we have art supplies, right? To use it up. I could probably grab some acrylic and do it. That's a definite. I mean, that's your choice. If you'd like to do that, go for it. Have fun. Use up your stuff. Have fun. Have fun. Then I'll come in and highlight a little bit with some white. Now, some white polka dots in there would be amazing. <clears throat> I'm wondering if the jelly roll will work in here. Yeah, sure is.
Maybe I need to let that dry a little bit more. Maybe I'll put a little heart. Oh, I like that. Oh, that is sweet. I'm very proud of myself. I really, really like this. You know, the most... Um, fulfilling part about it is that I've taught myself with the encouragement of you guys. Thank you so very much for all of my old subbies. I, I, sm I smile, I giggle a little because you guys are special to me. Very special to me. And all, for all my new subbies, you guys are special too. I'd like to get to know you. If you like, leave me a comment. I always, always reply back to my comments. Yeah, that needs to dry some more. I'm kind of thinking, what if... Let me put the fan towards me first. I hope that you don't get too much of the fan noise, but this girl is hot. I'm wondering if, how would it look if I were to shade some of these in with white? Let's see. Let me come shake this small one in. Okay, it's not wanting to work. I hope I'm not running out. Okay, it's working again. All right, I like that. Let's let's just fade in, shade in some of these. Yep. I could definitely use acrylics to do this also. And you're more than welcome to use acrylics if you don't have a gel pen. But I thought to myself, since I did start with inks, I'd like to call it a whole inked feather and being that the jelly pin is an ink it's nice to think it's all done in ink and the background in acrylics I think I'm gonna rugged out the edges and I'm definitely gonna put dots on this side also. Okay, 
Can you guys see what I'm doing? Some seem not to be as white because the ink is not completely dry. I really like it. Hope you guys enjoy. I really, really hope you guys have been inspired by all of us collaborating in this hashtag event. Maybe some dots in here. Still not dry enough. That's okay. I want to balance it out. Kind of tempted to shade in the heart completely. Not sure yet. But it won't hurt to do one, right? Doesn't mean I have to do all of them. You know, feathers hold a very, very special part in my heart. If they bring comfort, they bring joy. I like that. Still not dry enough. I'm trying though. Mm, right here. thinking, what if I put little swirls coming down? That's cute. On certain ones, like this right here, and maybe one up here. Don't want to make it too busy. Let's put a heart over here. Should I go all the way through with the white? Or do we leave it like that? What if I go all the way through with black on some of them? Let's find out.
Yeah, I like that too. Let's do that. Let's start up here so that I don't smear it. And I'm thinking also to put a black heart. I'm wondering if jelly rolls come in different colors. I'd have to look into that. Then again, why look if I know I can't get it? It's kind of like teasing myself. So I'll look when I, when I have cash. I know they come in gold. I do have a gold one that was sent in Happy Mail. I think that was sent by my um, my angel, Lori B, which till this day I don't know who she is or he. Sounds like a she though. I'm wondering if she still watches my channel. Lori B, are you watching my channel still? You have not commented, you haven't told me who you are. For those that don't know who Lori B is, Lori B is a lady that has supported me with art supplies. And I don't know who she is. And she likes to play tricks. <laughs> and instead of putting her address, she doubles my address as it being her address. Ain't that something? It's nice. It's really, really nice to have that happen in your life. It's a wonderful experience to think that somebody watches your channel and says to themselves, hey, I'm going to bless this girl, this woman, this art creator on YouTube, and I'm going to keep it private and not say who I am or where I come from, where I live, and send her a very, very happy package. I think she's done three boxes that she has sent me. <laughs> oh, and she sends me her art, which is beautiful art. I have some. Um, it's over there. And I know you guys are rushing to see the other artist. But don't feel rushed. Don't feel rushed to watch the other artist. Of course, go support them. Go find yourself some inspiration. But that will... The videos will always be available to you, so don't feel rushed. They're not going to disappear. But Lori B sends me her artwork and art supplies. And in the box of art supplies, she sends me a very beautiful feeling that I get when I open it. I feel loved. I feel appreciated. It's a very, very nice and she sends me happiness. Happiness in a box. The only thing I struggle with not knowing who it is is not knowing if she's still around, if she's okay, if she's healthy, if she's loved, if she gets support, because I would like to do that for her. I would actually love to Skype with you, Lori B. And art with you on Skype. So 
Lori B. if you're watching and you'd like to accept my invitation to Skype with me in art while we're Skyping, I would love that. But, in order for me to know it's you, Lori B., send me a message saying that you accept my invitation. But send me a message telling me what it was that you put in the envelope in the last package. Only you and I know what was in there. So that's how I will know it's you. And I say that because I need to protect myself. And it would have to be exactly what you sent me in that one special envelope and why you sent it because I know you had a purpose and I know what that purpose was. Okay, so let's put some hearts. Um, some black hearts. Here and there. Not too many. And then a swirl. Let's just leave it, I, you know, let's just move on. Okay, I call this done. I'm going to sign it with my birth name. It is one of one. And today's date is... What is today's date, guys? I'm so lost. 9-18. And I call it done. I'm very proud of myself. I love it. How do you guys like it? Really, really love it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it inspired. Leave me thumbs up. And comments and support. I love you guys. Thanks for joining. And remember to hashtag, hashtag, Love fall art. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. Okay, guys. So, this is it. This is the last video. I want to do this um, technique here on the side. I'm not sure what it's called. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my alcohol ink. I'm going to put some here. Then, I'm going to do my own mixes. I have a makeup sponge. I chopped off the hard part that was already on there. And I'm going to put different browns in here. Auntie Bernie's the one that showed me to do this. She said that the alcohol inks will last longer and you use less. And Auntie Bernie has a YouTube channel. Her YouTube channel is Auntie Bernie. And I'm using this other ink here and making a darker color. This other ink here is Dalla Rani. Don't know the color. I'm just going to rub it. All around the edges here.
think it's called distressing. But I'm not sure. And because I have some left, I want to do the edges. I want to make sure I use it all up. Guess I used it all up. That's a good thing. What if I add more alcohol? Will it get it flowing again? Yeah, it did. Different color though. That's okay. Let's add some more. Now I'm going to spray it. I have my fan going, so don't worry. That's good enough for now. I don't want it to start smearing. I love the smell. And there you go. She's all done. Hope you enjoyed. Have yourself a good day. Very creative day. Bye-bye.